That's all the water we got left. That's my water. We've got zero, oh, we've got zero food. We're cold, we're tired, my feet are destroyed. Timmy almost sprained his ankle, did sprain his ankle. Um, but the journey continues. It's, we thought we'd be reaching our final destination today, but that's not the case. So tomorrow, we're gonna have to head on deeper and deeper into Darien until we get to whatever the end is. I don't know what the end is. I think there's a Red Cross center or something, a refugee center or some village. Uh, I don't know, I'm destroyed. I've never been this tired. And I'm gonna go to bed now, wet, cold, hungry, thirsty. But um, so is pretty much everyone else here on this trip. So I can't complain too much. I'm here voluntarily. Mate, tomorrow we do it. Why? I smell it. What, bro? Rain. Rain? Mate, looks clear. Oh, looks clear sky. What rain? I smell it to me. Storms approaching. Guys, I think Bolt turned to a wise expert, jungle expert after five days. I've been in the Darien for five days. I know more about the jungle <laughs> than any Englishman. You can smell it. Or Russian. <laughs> oh, fuck, <man. laughs> Good morning from another day in the Darien. It's 5.30 in the morning, everyone's packing up their tents after another horrific night. I mean, rain, just, ah, just awful. As bad as you can imagine. Um, everyone's hungry, tired now. Um, but the plan is to walk down the river for maybe five or six hours. No one really knows what the exact plan is. Um, and get to a village where there are some boats. Um, and from there, that's gonna hopefully take us down one of those boats um, to a Red Cross refugee center. So, um, yeah. Let's begin today's journey. Another day in the Darien. Join me. The sound of screaming babies just fills the air as they realize we've got a traverse now. Look at this. 